Hello again, everybody. Todd Michael Putnam here from D&D Creative Table Designs, bringing you another adventure table idea. Uh, this is the town of Birdsong. The town of Birdsong. And uh, actually, the idea behind this is... Uh, is pretty open-minded. It's uh, basically, instead of a deep, dark dungeon or out in, in the astral plane or in the, the horrible wilderness or some major city where there's giant crime syndicates going on, the um, little town of Birdsong is just a small little town, small little village, very nice and quiet, uh, seems very peaceful. You always hear the wind rustling through the trees and the, and the sound of the birds singing. And it just seems like a kind of a quiet, sleepy town. So what great secrets could be in such a place as this? What, uh, what could be happening uh, that's happening under the surface that uh, nobody is aware of or that the town is partially aware of but they just don't speak about? Uh, and it could be anything. There could be the, the mayor of the town could be a vampire or something. Uh, the, the person that uh, there could be an old woman who's an occultist uh, that lives out uh, in, a, in a small shanty behind the, the main town, and she may be having visions of a dark future that's coming. Um, there could be uh, a wizard who's got uh, who, who's just kind of scatterbrained or and uh, and not really uh, able to keep his thoughts very coherent because he's extremely eccentric and he's all focused on these prophecies or whatever it is that uh, his research is telling him is coming. Um, there, there could be uh, somebody who's escaped from the main capital and they're hiding here and they're hanging out in the tavern um, and they are in possession of important diplomatic information and the town of Birdsong is exactly the place for them to go because no one would think to look to, for them there. Um, there could be the, the church itself could have been taken over and while it may proclaim to be a per, a, a per, a, excuse me, a church of some... Um, positive deity of light and goodness or something like that, but perhaps the priest has been possessed and he's secretly working for Siric or some of the other uh, evil deities, uh, or he's been possessed by a demon or something, and he's slowly begun converting people uh, into his cult. Uh, what other kinds of things could happen? There's all kinds of stuff that could happen in a quiet little town that on the surface looks like it's, uh, it's nice and calm, but once you start getting talking to people, uh, rumors start to show up. Some of them will be true, some of them will be false, and you have to track them down and sort them out. Some of those rumors could be rumors started by somebody who doesn't like the other individual, and so they just make up bad things, um, and it's really just a grudge. Other rumors could be based on, on fact. So that's the idea behind uh, Birdsong, is it's just a quiet little village out in the middle of nowhere, minding its own business, but underneath the surface of it, there's all kinds of, there's, there's, there's something strange going on. There's a secret that people aren't talking about uh, that, um, that is well worth investigating by the hero's, the hero's time. As far as creating this particular one is concerned, uh, the battle mat uh, I got off of, uh, I think I got off of Amazon. Um, and uh, it's basically a little, a, a little just a roadway going across some some plains for the most part and uh it's, it's really great for exactly this kind of scene uh most of these buildings are 3d printed uh so that one's 3d printed this one this one this this guy here is 3d printed um and then those three buildings there are 3d printed uh, this one actually comes out, you can take that top off and you can make it a two-story uh, two building instead of a three-story building. And then the remaining buildings are all from Zitterdes, Z-I-T-E-R-E-D-E-S, -E 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 Zitterdes. Uh, and it's like a hard foam. Um, you pick that up and tap it or whatever it is and it's, uh, you can't open them up or anything, but it works great uh, for laying out and creating the feel. Same with this one over here. This is from Zitterdes. It's kind of like a uh, kind of like a, a, a lower end nobles type house, uh, who maybe the mayor or somebody like that was on this. And then if some, a lot of people will ask me, they'll say, well, then how would you run a thing like this? Because how do you get inside of the building? Well, I keep an area of the map relatively clear, like this area right here. And you can either, I have Zitterdes. So if they go into a small town or a small building, I have an actually hard foam Zitterdes that I've got painted up. But all I got to do is take that out put it right there, throw in the appropriate furniture, uh, and there they are inside of somebody's house. 
uh, or something like that. And then if it's something larger, let's say they go into the mansion over there, uh, or so, then I put this one larger version of it down and populate it out. This could be the tavern, um, or, or, or it could be, uh, could be the church or whatever with the congregation down below and the preacher up on the top level, however you wanted to work it. But that's what I do is instead of opening up the actual buildings, which are kind of too small, I think, in my opinion, um, that they're, they're the right size, but they're not really good for moving minis around and stuff in. So I use this kind of a thing where I just kind of expand it out and inside the building is just much larger than, than what it appears to be on the outside. And, uh, and you can do your role playing and stuff that way. If you don't have Zitterdesk, probably most people, you can get the Warlock tiles, the town and village tiles. Uh, I recently got into those, they're fantastic. Those you can clip together, uh, unlike Dwarven Forge. So you can clip together a, a, a room and just pick it up and put it down just like I'm doing with the Zitterdesk. Uh, and still have that same exact effect. Throw the room down, and then all you got to do is have a baggie with whatever your stuff is for different buildings. Uh, some some furniture and things like that for somebody's house, um, or if it's going to be a, a, a church or something, then you'll have some pews that you throw in there, whatever. But just use a generic building, and then have furniture set aside in baggies uh, in order to be able to, to, to role play out that particular building. And then uh, in this particular thing, what I also, oh, I should say the, uh, all of these trees are from Monster Fight Club. Uh, they don't come in all of these colors. They come in green and orange and pink. Um, and they do have some blue ones, I believe. Uh, I've had some of them repainted to darker color, or, darker color orange and some yellow, uh, just to add some, some more variety. Uh, and I think it helps bring stuff to light. And then lastly, you might hear some birds chirping in the background. Those aren't real birds or anything. Um, my girlfriend, in order to sleep, she actually got one of these little machines. You could brighten the, the sound effect right now on your phone, I'm sure. But uh, there's a variety of things that you can click on there and you get like waterfall sounds or forest sounds and, and chirping birds or thunderstorms and things like that. So that's one of those things that you could just put on a little bit of ambient music as the players come in or ambient sound effects to help build that mood just a little bit more and give people that feeling that, oh, wow, this is an idyllic little place. This is, you know, this is Pleasantville, as it were. Um, and, uh, and then, of course, as they do their research and they start talking to people, that's when the story starts to emerge. So there it is. Uh, that is uh, the idea of uh, the town behind Birdsong. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos and if you like the content. And uh, this is something that... Uh, you find useful either how I build these things out or maybe some of the storylines that I'm using, where I'm getting materials from, anything like that. Uh, let your friends know about it and then please like and subscribe and uh, please leave some comments down below and let me know what you think uh, about the setup and the, uh, the adventure. Appreciate you uh, taking the time to watch it and I will see you on the next adventure. Take care. Bye.